Welcome to Kharche Ka Funda with me Anil Saigal. On this show, we'll talk about the fundamentals of spending wisely. We have with us today Devina. Hi, Devina. Hi, Anil. Devina, tell us a little about yourself. What you do? Where are you from? Oh, um, I'm from Kanpur. Uh, mm-hmm. In it's a city in Uttar Pradesh. Okay. And I've been in Bombay for a long time now, since seven, eight years. I've been working for eight years, and for the last six months now, I've started out on my own. Mm-hmm. Um, uh, my company is called Be Loud. Be loud. loud. Yes. So, Devina, you've come to talk to me. Obviously, you have something on your mind related yeah. to money or expenditure. Exactly. So, um, as I just told you, that it's been six months since mm-hmm. we've started out. What I would just like to know from you is that every time when you set up a company, there is an initial capital that you have to put in mm-hmm. while you are setting up. So, so I we we started out with minimalistically. We started out with as much less as we could have. Mm-hmm. So now I've been grappling with the thought that. Do you think at this point in time, it's just been six months, and mm-hmm. we have some decent business backing us? Should you think I should, or the company should go ahead and invest in an office space and get some more tangible assets, or we should just be working like the so way we are? Currently, you are working out of your own residences. Yes, or? yeah, yeah. We have our own space where we. And so we are three of us who just keep shifting places, keep working out of maybe sometimes cafes. Sometimes mm-hmm. our own houses, yeah. Yes. So this funding that you're saying we would like to put in mm. is your own money or money that you made in the last six months? It'll be a part my our money and part we'll be partners what will you be made? contributing. Yeah, yeah. But I think what we made, we'll just try to keep it as less as possible, and I think we'll be more will in. come out of your pocket. Yeah. So at this point of time, in six months, I don't see if there's no need. See, businesses will need eventually offices and. Assets and things that impress your clients. Mm. That is actually one. You need them. Two, they impress your clients and help you get more business in. So right now you're at a stage where you're a startup. You're just six months old. Mm. So right now I would stick to your own money very tightly because you might need it. There are ups and downs. Now it's not a job anymore. You said you've been working for eight years, but six months you're working on your own. Mm. So this is not a job anymore. You need to hold on very tightly to the funds you have. Obviously, you put in your savings to set up the business. So all your partners have put in your money. Whatever you have left, hold on to it, and whatever comes out of the business, keep it in the business. So right. that would be a smart way to go. Keep in the business money that will tide you over of a few dry months. Like you don't have work for three, four months, but you still need expenditure. So your own money is the last resort, but the money in the business should help you pay for your expenses. All partners should pay their expenses out of the earning. So that you don't keep drying up your savings. Yeah. So first you need that. Then you keep holding on to the money mm-hmm. and hold on to an, like another three months, four months of expenditure that you might need. Mm-hmm. And then you think of spending. Then you think of spending in an office. If whenever the time arises, take a small office on rent. Don't furnish it too heavily. And as you grow, as your savings grow, then you will obvi- automatically know कितना किस चीज के लिए mm-hmm. save करना है. You'll need equipment. You'll need office stuff like computers and this and that. As and as you grow, the way road will come in front of you. But right now, don't like put the cart in front of the horse. Okay. Keep the horse ahead and the cart behind. Okay. So let's start set up, set up the business. Let's make it grow. Let's take it to the next step, and then comes that step. Okay. So that's my advice. Hold it off. All right. Sure. Thank you. Thank you, Devina. You came yeah. to talk to me. Thanks a lot. Thank you. So pleasure talking to you. And before we leave, fund of the day. Businesses that grow organically with internal accruals will always tend to survive longer.